that's where I am. And that is where we are. Wembley. And today we are staying in the Ibis. Have we stayed in an Ibis before? I think we stayed in Ibis styles in Ealing. But oh look at that. There's people doing judo up in the window. How menacing. So I think this will be a short video. Um, I'm not here for very long. It's nine o'clock now. Um, and I've got to get up at five in order to be somewhere else. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do my usual wrap up in the morning unless I do it on the walk to the train. Oh, didn't pay 79. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Nice bar. Tally with some football on. I guess it's some nice space. Smells like cleaning products. Oh. For those of you with dirty shoes, I was you covered. So yeah, look at that. Decent bar. Decent bar, crisps, lots of spirits, beers. Looks like they serve food too. And then certain areas, abandoned pizzas. But we can go up in the lift. But not that lift. Look at that. It tells you when best to go for breakfast. And it tells you what to expect for breakfast. That's quite fun. Anyway, I am on the 14th floor, the very top. I think I'm 1405, I believe. It's a funny shaped room. So through here, even from here I can tell that's a massive bed. So, okay. Why actually have a bookcase when you can just draw it in chalk on the wall? That's a pretty big TV. Uh, yeah, the bed is really big. It's so big I can't even get a decent shot of it. Go. Big bed. Oh, a sofa. Yeah, spoiler alert. I literally popped in earlier to dump my stuff. Um, sofa. Little table. Plenty of lamps. Another table. Kettle. Tetley. Ah, oh, this cafe boring. Um, I guess that's design. Um, yeah, big lamp. So 14th floor. Let's see. Oh, they left the window open. 14th floor. What can we see? Oh, there's a person. Is this another hotel? I suppose it is. But you can just see a little bit of Wembley Stadium. Just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's our view, which isn't that bad actually. Now I've turned the light off. You can see quite far. It's a shame that I won't see it in the morning. What a nice long mirror. Yes, yeah, so I've got, got like a corridor. Down this corridor, two incredibly thin kind of units. There's a spare pillow in there, and another spare pillow in there. Two coat hangers, because how many do you really need? And a hair dryer lurking in there. Oh, a hair dryer utensil. <coughs> Let's have a look at the bathroom. Nice slidey door. Oh, it's not a slidey door. 
Oh, somebody has been smoking in the bathroom. <sighs> yep, smoke. Well, that's the first time we have art in the bathroom. So a toilet which is kind of float in. Reminds me a little bit like a um, like a toilet on a train. A big white sink. Pretty big mirror with light on it, which is nice. And then let's have a look at the shower. Oh Jesus. I don't know which way to pull it. Do I pull it? It's freaking me out. I don't know whether to pull it or push it. We'll do a bit of both. Um, no, oh, it's a shame. You could have really kind of a big old shower in you. Bit of wear on the on the, on the ground. Put your hands up in your hair. Press to impress. There you go. Well, I'll test these out later. A couple of hooks. Nice. Shavers. A couple of caps. Okay. Not thrilled with the smoke in there. This is all the light I can generate. A bit more. Yeah, there's no main, no main light. Let's test the bed. Oh, it's pretty damn firm. It's pretty big, damn big though. I might need two pillows. I am paying, I think, sixty-three pounds to stay here tonight. Um, I'm not here very long. Like I said, it's nine. It's about nine o'clock now. I think I've got to get up at five a.m. Um, to get over to London City Airport, where I'm flying on a journey. So tune in next week to see where I'm going. Cliffhangers. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this place. It feels a bit. Um, Can you see that? You know, it's kind of like these are paint. Some see that? Some stains. Stains on the wall. The windows have like tape on it. I don't know. What's that mean? From water only. Like the, the people try and boil their tea in the kettle. Well, people are stupid, I suppose. Oh, and we got a thermostat as well. It feels pretty warm in here. Um, I can't see oh, the aircon, it's just there. But. I don't know, if I've got to get up at five, I might leave it cold so I don't sleep in. So upon closer inspection, and forgive all my stuff that I've just ceremoniously or unceremoniously dumped. Um, so yeah, this is actually a sofa bed. So, yep, so you can fit another person, fit another person in this room. Um, that's a bit weird, you know, having some power just hidden. So now I've got to yank this out to, which is not, it's not light, to get to the power to charge up my phone because there's nothing either side of the bed. It's a bit tatty as well, isn't it? Look at this. Seen better days. Wow. I am very tempted to find out what the vibrant ibis music playlist sounds like. Oh, look at this guy.
to never have a free lunch. Oh, never mind. Leave it for the next person. So that was the that was the stay in the Ibis Wembley. It was it was fine. Like I said, I was only there a matter of hours. So it's quarter past five in the morning, and I'm walking up to the tube to try and get over to the airport. Like I said, yeah, lots of things, lots of little niggly things, I suppose, with the room. Uh, spoke to the guys on reception because uh, I needed needed to borrow a scissors for some reason and uh, they wouldn't let me borrow one which was a bit naughty I guess what am I gonna do with the scissors like but it doesn't matter I can get by so overall for the price I think it was fine oh we're in this uh, is it switched on today? Oh, it is, look. That's me. Can you see? This is me. Oh, oh. We've done this before, but... There, there I go. And yeah, just for, just for people that haven't been here before. That's, that's Wembley Stadium as well. Um... Yeah, so lots of little niggly things. The bed wasn't particularly comfortable. The pillows were shit. Um, but the price was okay. It is a bit of a drag coming into Wembley. Not too much of a drag, but you know, it is a 45 minute at least journey from work to get down here. But there are places to eat and things like that. So would I stay again? Yeah, probably. Um, I think if I'm coming to, oh, you know what? That's. I think those are the four main hotels in the centre of Wembley that I've done. So I've done the Travel Lodge now. I've done the Premier Inn. I've done the International, and now I've done the Ibis. Because I don't see me staying at the Hilton anytime soon. Oh, it's pretty cold. What I will say, right, is staying in. At the best of times, staying in these hotels can be quite lonely, right? But getting up at like quarter to five and sitting in a chair, just drinking a, a crappy Nescafe coffee, I don't know, that's new, new levels. But I'm getting up early for a good reason. I think the only reason I'm complaining is that's two days on the trot. I've got up at uh, yeah, actually smack on at quarter to five. So I need some sleep. Alright, with that, I will say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Uh, sorry the video wasn't longer and didn't go into more depth, but like I said, it wasn't around very long. Whistle stop. Uh, Wembley Arena. Okay, cool. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.